Good evening, you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the most important headlines of the day. Let's begin. First, as always, the COVID-19 updates. India added less than 70,000 fresh coronavirus infections for the first time since 1st of September. The country added over 66,000 fresh infections of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, taking the country's COVID tally past the 71 lakh mark. Over 70,000 recoveries were recorded in the last 24 hours. On 11th of October, the country achieved the landmark milestone after data showed 60 lakh recoveries from COVID-19 in India. A Dalit woman in Bihar's Baksar was allegedly gang-raped and she lost her baby. The two were attacked and thrown into a canal by a group of men. The baby died due to drowning. Now, the police have said that they've arrested one of the seven accused and the woman who suffered some serious injuries has now been shifted to a nearby hospital for treatment. Shifting focus to the environment, as many as eight beaches spread across five states and two union territories in India have been granted the blue flag certification. Now, what is this blue flag certification? It is a globally recognized eco tag that has been granted by the Foundation for Environment Education. It mainly revolves around 33 criteria, which include environment education, environment conservation, quality of bathing water, and safety and security around beaches. In another major news, according to a recent Oxfam report, India just spent 4% of its budget or its GDP on healthcare going into the pandemic, which is the fourth lowest in the world. The report also mentioned that less than 50% of the country's population has access to basic or essential healthcare services. The report has also found out that about 70% of the healthcare spending is being met by people themselves. Shifting focus to Maharashtra, soon after Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre announced the scrapping of RA Metro Car Shed project, the former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, who is also the senior BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis, called the Maharashtra government's decision unfortunate. Now, on 11th of October, ladies and gentlemen, Maharashtra Chief Minister announced that the Arya Metro Car Shed project will be shifted to a government land in suburban Mumbai. He also said that no additional cost will be incurred for the same purpose. However, the former Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis said that the decision will increase the cost by 4,000 crores and is only being taken to satisfy someone's ego. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.